Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this panel fold card, concertina panel card. It's just something that I just scored and folded and decorated with lovely papers and I think it's come together really nicely and it stands up like so. So when you look at it, you see all the papers like that. It looks really nice. You can decorate this how you want, you could put photos on here if you wanted to, it's just yeah really fun, you could pop some there as well but it does show these papers I think really really lovely, if you wanted to you could also do something on the back there but I've kept that just plain, love the sentiment and everything I've used so yeah let me show you, it's very very quick. So the papers I'm using are the Paper Boutique Ocean Breeze, I've got the paper kit and also the decorative papers, mine are all mixed up now so I just kind of keep them all together but um, in the kit you get these here so the papers are the same um, if you just want to have them on their own but that's what I'm using, as always everything will be linked below so very very straightforward, I've cut most of my mats but I've not done kind of finished one side because I needed to kind of see how it looks actually together before um, I cut the rest, so I've got all that ready. So you need a piece of 12 by 7, so it will end up being a 5 by 7 card, so it will fit perfectly into your 5 by 7 envelopes. So you want to score at 3.5, then flip the card over and score at 1.5 and, and 7, okay, and then flip the card back again. Now you want to fold your 7 inch score line like so, so you created a mountain. Then that score line that's next will go this way and then your last one that way. By doing the scoring the way I've done it and flipping the card over and then back again it means you won't get any cracking because you've folded them you know, the way that they should be. So you should have that look there. So you want to have a mountain, valley, mountain or depending on how you've done it you might have a valley, mountain, valley. But that's what you need to have is that look. Now it's all down to you to decorate. So I've done some, like I said, some of the mats. I want that one on the back so I think that's going to be a nice one to see because you see this paper really nicely and then inside you've got the room to obviously write your message and I love that bit there with the, the bird. So I'm going to have that one there. I've already got my topper so this one's going to be it's a day to celebrate you. So then I've got that to go over there and then the happy birthday. This is just cut from one of the sheets in the pad. You get a couple of pages just full of sentiments so again it's just really quick and easy. That is going to go just inside there so you've got room to write your message. So this one here measures, this is just a normal mat for a 5 by 7 card, so it is 4 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. Then I've got this one I think I was going to have in there, but now I'm wondering whether to have it. So you need two of every size, apart from that first one actually, unless you do want to do the back. But then I've got that one which I was going to put there, see how that looks against that. I've got this one that's going to go there, so you see what I mean, you just have to play around. If you're doing them all the same then it won't matter but because I've got this paper pad and you've got so many lovely papers I just want to make sure, so I'm not sure whether that goes, I think I'm going to have this one inside. So this one measures three and a quarter by again you'll need two of them, one for the front one for the back but I'm going to pop my one in there. These ones here, so this is one and a quarter so you'll need two, so I've got the floral and then I've got the anchors, that's going to go inside there, like so. So I'm just going to get them stuck down for a minute and then I'll give you the measurements for this last one here. Okay, so I've stuck all of them down, I've also gone ahead and stuck this one down and this measures the yellow piece is 3 by 4 and then the mat is 2 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters, yeah. So I've stuck all that down, then I have, I already gave the measurements for that one so I'm going to have that one which is the same there and then I have cut a piece of the blue which was in the centre of this one here because this is like a I guess a border page so this one I think will look really nice inside here against the stripe and then no that wasn't in there sorry it's the blue that's in there because I want you to see that that was it against the floral like that which still looks nice against that it's a bit plainer but it still works and then on this side because I've got that one there I'm then going to have the floral next to it there because I don't know if I like that floral against that floral I think it's all a bit too 
too much on the front. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think that's a bit much. I like the blue against it, so I'm going to stick them down. These ones measure one and three quarters by. I'm going to stick them all down. And then lastly, it's just to stick your topper on. So mine's going to go there, so I'm going to add some glue just there. Okay, so that's that all done. Also, when I stick this down, I made sure that it's hidden behind that. I've got a bit of a, a thing. I just don't like seeing when you've wrote something in the card. I don't like you seeing it when it's, like, being taken out of the envelope, if that makes sense. So if you could just see like to somebody there, that's my own personal kind of thing. I just don't like to see any kind of writing. It's all right once it's open and they've seen it. So obviously if it's stood like that and you can see, and that's, that's completely, you know, not a problem. That's how it's meant to be. But initially when they take it out of the envelope, I like it to just be all about the card and the decoration. So there you have two very quick I pretty much cut most of that during that tutorial as well. So it is it is very, very fast. You can certainly make this within 15 minutes. The toppers are really handy as well for speed. So check out the Paper Boutique. They have so many amazing paper pads. Like it's such a big collection. And I know I've got lots of you hooked on it already. So yeah, I'll share all the links below. If I have missed out any sizes, I don't think I did, but if I have, just check my blog because everything will be listed there as normal. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.